Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. In January of this year, I posted a video that Microsoft could be changing how you reset the sync in Microsoft Edge. And I'll leave a link to that video down below. But as I did mention in that previous video, um, if I did get any more information, I would post and let you guys know regarding this, uh, this change. And just to let you know now that in Microsoft Edge version 114, which rolled out recently, um, these changes have now taken place and the previous setting called Reset Sync has now been replaced with Resync Now. And that option was the option I mentioned in that previous video, which basically is a privacy-focused feature. Now, um, to get to the setting, um, the easiest actually would be just to go to your profile picture, click on the settings, and um, yeah, click on Sync in your profile page. And on the Sync page, just scroll down to the bottom, and yeah, you'll see the new applied setting, which has been changed from Reset Sync to Resync Now as I have mentioned. And this is now available now in the stable version. Now, as many of you may know, um, all your browsing data, like your passwords, history, favorites, and so on, are all stored on the Microsoft servers, basically, as we would say, in the cloud. And you can get access to all these across all your signed-in devices using Microsoft Edge, as an example. Now, where this, what this change does and, and where the difference comes in um, is previously, uh, Reset Sync, what it would do is... Um, uh, it would actually delete your browsing sync data from the Microsoft servers. So if you wanted to get rid of all that data, you could. So it was a nice privacy feature if you just wanted to wipe all of your data that was sent to the Microsoft servers. Now, this resync option isn't doing that anymore. And what it's doing, um, as we can see here from the description, it says, if you're having problems syncing your browsing data to this device, try resyncing. This is recommended if you are missing sync data on this device. And if you actually click on resync, it says we'll merge your local browsing data with your sync data stored on the Microsoft servers. So as I have mentioned, when it was still in preview in Edge Canary version 111, what this option does now is that Edge will delete the sync cache on your device. And this will allow the local browsing data to be resynced with the sync data stored on the Microsoft servers. So it doesn't actually wipe your data from the service. It's just resyncing it now as the name applies. Now, um, if you are privacy focused and are concerned about this change regarding your data being sent to the Microsoft servers, um, the good news is that there is a way to clear the Edge Sync data from the Microsoft servers that's still available in the stable version of Microsoft Edge if you would be interested. So how we do this um, is we have to head to the uh, address bar. And what we need to type in is edge colon forward slash forward slash sync internal. So that's edge colon forward slash forward slash sync internals. Type that in. And I'll leave that down below so you can just copy and paste it. Click on that. And this takes us right over to that page where we get a whole lot of different things going on here. But yeah, you will see on this internals page, you get the option here called Disable Sync, Clear Server Data. There we go. So if you click on that, Disable Sync, Clear Server Data, that will actually wipe and delete your actual data, like your bookmarks, um, your history, your favorites, your settings, and so on. Just to mention a couple of examples, it will actually wipe that data from the Microsoft service, where, as mentioned, the new resync option and resync now is not doing that. So if you still want to do that, there is an option available on the edge colon forward slash forward slash sync internals page, disable sync, which will clear your server data from the actual Microsoft servers. And I just wanted to let you know about that because obviously now this change is rolling out with edge version 114 and any later and newer version. And if you are focused on privacy, you can do that now by visiting the aforementioned page. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.